bother trying to figure out who's right and who's wrong about how to interpret Sharia law. But what Gallup did in their survey was they said, okay, look, we're going to specifically talk about killing civilians. So if it turns out, for example, the Sharia law does in fact want you to kill more civilians, well, that's obviously going to be problematic. But let's find out if that is what they say, right? If that is the interpretation of the people in those countries. So they asked, do you believe in the deliberate targeting and killing of civilians is sometimes justified? Now, the other option was never justified. So 14% of the people in those majority Muslim countries in North Africa and the Middle East said that, yes, it is sometimes justified. So that is, uh, that's a little damning. It's nowhere near the 74%, obviously. Most people do not interpret Sharia law to mean that at all. But 14% is an unfortunately high number. Now, before you judge, let's find out what other countries answered to that same exact question. In the UK, 33% believe that the deliberate targeting and killing of civilians is sometimes justified. Not collateral damage, not accidental, deliberate targeting of civilians. They were very clear about the question. How about the United States of America? 50% thought that deliberate targeting and killing of civilians is sometimes justified. So if we're looking at polling to determine who is more violent and more prone to what we normally colloquially call terrorism, the deliberate killing of civilians, it turns out the population of the United States is about four times as likely to support the deliberate killings of civilians. Now I know People here will say, no, but that's unjustified. We had to do it. We had to do it. But they ask the same question. Is, do you think the other side doesn't think that they had to do it? Well, apparently they don't. They're under similar circumstances, if not worse circumstances oftentimes. You think the people in the Middle East don't know the consequences of terrorism and killing civilians? They live it. They see it every day. Maybe that's part of the reason why they're like, no, we don't want that. Only 14%. Here in America, 50%.